yourself after a gay painter. Your okay. big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with so, that. So 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire. Within the realm of hip hop, two legendary individuals who have had lasting impression on the industry are Jay-Z and 50 Cent. Both musicians have seen great success and controversy, and when you have two people reach the level of success they have amounted, a clash is almost bound to happen, and it appears 50 Cent is coming after Jay-Z big time. You would all know when 50 decides on beefing someone, he will come for their neck relentlessly, and this has left Jay-Z panicking. Be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. But new information revealed by 50 Cent has highlighted a more sinister aspect of Jay-Z's ascent to fame. Getting straight into the thick of things, 50 just dropped some serious shade at Jay-Z and his status in the culture in a recent interview, speaking about his connection to Eminem and how much it has contributed to 50 Cent's popularity and reputation building. 50 gave the following surprising example. If you look at the Jay-Z career, you can say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive, what, 16, 17 Grammys? Since he's been with Beyonce. And prior to that, one. That came in association. Even their kids have Grammys. They don't sing yet, they don't rap yet, and they already have Grammys and sh**. It's like they give them this trophy to secure that they come to the award show. It meant so much to the culture that they just gave them the things. To me, I don't care about trophies. I said, I'll get the checks. Recognizing the importance of association, 50 stated of himself that he probably would have not achieved the kind of economic success he did if he hadn't been linked to Eminem, a musician with enormous domestic and international sales. However, it is an absurd claim that Jay-Z's wife's side is the only reason he has received recognition for his music, but we are all aware of how careless 50 can be when he's in troll mode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. 50 Cent was even vocal about an incident when he clashed with Jay-Z at the American Music Awards backstage. As it has been known for a while now, 50 Cent has always trolled Jay-Z and he knows he can't do anything about it. Now, in the AMAs, of course it was rumors when he got his award, he said, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Right, right. He says, he's going at fifth, this is this is his little remark at fifth, and sort of laughing. But he's been saying that before. He said that before. Now, when you heard that, you see, when I seen it, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about, I just seen Fifth perform, so Fifth might be backstage. And now he has to walk backstage. Yeah. So I thought that, you know, it might have been a probable situation because at that point, there's no security back there. It's just you and him. Nah, he wasn't. Nah, he didn't say nothing. I didn't take that directly towards me. Mm -hmm. If that was, then he should say something a little more direct so we could stop rapping and get right to the shit. In all of 50's feuds we've seen him get involved in, it's rare that he ever gets made to look like the fool, and somehow, every time, seems to end up getting one up the other person. Although fans did have mixed opinions on this incident with Jay-Z, with numerous posts like, 50 can read any individual in the game so fast. He's the hip-hop sensei. I love that about him. Hands raised emoji. 50 Cent has always been jealous of Jay business acumen. More importantly, this is 6 to 8 years ago. I like 50, but I think he's still on that schoolyard. Jay been graduated and moved away from all that. With a phenomenal net worth of $2.5 billion, Jay-Z is the wealthiest musician in the world and has sold over 140 million records. He is at the top of the wealth hierarchy in the music industry. One of Jay-Z's first and most famous collaborations was with the legendary Notorious B.I.G., also known as Biggie. The two rap icons came together to create unforgettable tracks that showcased their undeniable talent and lyrical genius. Jay-Z wasted no time in collaborating with renowned artists to solidify his position in the rap scene. One of the most prominent controversies involving Jay-Z was his fallout with Dame Dash, his former business partner and friend. The two had previously been inseparable, building an empire together. But Jay-Z turned his back on Dame Dash for greater money and success, shattering their friendship in the process. This move sparked criticism and caused many to doubt Jay-Z's loyalty and integrity. 
In the entertainment industry, it's not uncommon for people to refuse assistance from those who provide it, attain their current standing, but it's depressing to see how disposable these relationships are, as if the people who contributed to Jay-Z's success today aren't worth his time. Over time, 50 Cent has come up with proof to support his allegations, particularly criticizing Jay-Z for supposedly exposing other rappers to succeed. 50 Cent claims that in addition to attempting to eliminate the competition, Jay-Z was also a sinister factor actor in DMX's tragic passing. Also the fact, Jay-Z has had numerous albums with R. Kelly, which no one seems to talk about. Quite convenient. Jay-Z rarely makes appearances on podcasts, but the few times he has, he's spoken about 50 Cent, where he stated he's always knew 50 Cent was going to be a huge problem. You know, I remember one time walking in the studio, and uh, uh, it was like a small gap, and uh, uh, bleak beans everybody was in there and i was like man i'm telling you man y'all better y'all better y'all got a chance right now just flood it put out a lot of music mm -hmm. because 50 cent is coming mm -hmm. and you know four months later in the club hit and it was over and right. it was just like okay now everybody got to sit on the sidelines and wait and wait this tight to wave out the fact someone on jay-z's level can admit how much of a threat 50 cent was in his prime to even now goes to show why a lot of celebrities and fellow artists will never try and go at 50 first because they know it's a losing battle jb slick hating on 50 for the longest he didn't have be disrespectful and downplaying m and 50 like that time and time again jay been sneak dissing which is a punk move. Jay is a businessman. He doesn't have time for street beefs. Look where street beefs got Biggie and Pac and a few others. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on this entire situation? Has 50 Cent been hinting at the dark side of Jay-Z all along? Because he is a man that will discard anyone in his way? Or is 50 Cent showing signs of jealousy? Comment down below. 50 Cent has been claiming for a while now that Jay-Z's Grammys and awards are all down to his connection with Beyonce, essentially claiming it's all rigged and a select few are made as the poster boy or girl for the ceremony. Okay for them, the award shows not to give me the trophies. If you look at the, the even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, well, I think that's 16, 17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. Mm. Right? And, and you go prior to that, one. From what we've touched on in this video, from his alleged connect to the demise of DMX and how he discarded Dame Dash from his life, evidently Jay-Z has played his cards right, has looked where it has led him in his career and the wealth he has amounted over the years. But 50 Cent clearly knows a lot of things in the industry and what goes on behind the scenes. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Loaf2 for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.